Good morning, everyone, and welcome. If you will, I'm sorry, but please stand for our national anthem.
Thank you. You may now be seated. I am so happy to see each and every one of you on this glorious day. Uh, my name is Julie Byerly, and I have the honor and pleasure of being president of Geisinger College of Health Sciences. And I wish you all a very warm welcome to this, our 2024 commencement ceremony for our School of Nursing. I love a graduation. It's not just that I love the opportunity to dress up in this getup of the college attire, which I do enjoy and so forth, but I love how a graduation ritual forces us to take a moment to reflect on all that has brought us to this place and all that we will take with us beyond today. And so especially graduates, but actually for each and every one of us, I invite you to take a deep breath and consider for just a moment how far you've come to be right here, right now. I want to thank the staff and faculty of our School of Nursing for the tremendous work that they've done to get this program so successfully off the ground. You, the graduates, are proof of their dedication and what we all can do together. And I also want to acknowledge and thank everyone here today, friends, family, children of the graduates, significant others, other loved ones who have supported these amazing students in their journey. Today is an important milestone. The degree that you are earning sets you on a path of service and a career that is meaningful, rewarding, and so important. Some of you, perhaps most of you in fact, have already worked in some capacity as a caregiver, so you know that the caregiving work is demanding, but it gives back. At the end of the day, you know you've done something meaningful, something good, something that makes a difference. Today, I want you to understand how pivotal a role you play as you join the healthcare team as a nurse. Pennsylvania will have a shortfall of thousands, in fact, 20,000 at least nurses within the coming couple of years. And our nursing workforce shortage compromises the health of our population. Geisinger School of Nursing is responding to this and your work individually is that response. Thank you. You're important. You are the heart of healthcare. A team-based care model cannot function without qualified and caring nurses carrying out our mission. Please remember that at the end of every day, you are valued. I'm so proud of you. I know that you are headed to wonderful careers and I'm really excited to be in this ceremony where we all can reflect and celebrate on that together. And now it's my distinct honor to introduce Beth Finkbeiner, the director of our associate degree in nursing program. Beth has been instrumental in getting this degree launched and of course in ensuring with her staff and faculty colleagues its excellence. Beth is frequently mentioned by students as a mentor, guide, and friend. And under her leadership, our School of Nursing is a model for hands-on, uniquely Geisinger education, where the emphasis is on wellness and community comes first. Beth. Thank you, Dr. Byerly. Well, guys, you made it. 
It has been my a blessing and a privilege to get to know each one of you over the past couple years. And I am so, so very proud of each one of you. Each of you has de demonstrated determination and grit and tenacity to make it to this very day. Your class has lived through unprecedented times here at Geisinger School of Nursing, and you have done it well. And for that, I say thank you. Sometimes the term strong-willed has a negative connotation, but I also see a positive side to having a strong-willed personality. That I see in each one of you. I want to encourage you to channel your determination and your strong-willed nature in a positive direction and apply this to your nursing career to provide the best care possible to your patients and their families, to maintain the high values and standards the nursing profession is known for. Go and do great things in nursing. Treat your patients and coworkers with kindness. Always strive for excellence. Make the safety of your patients priority. Never stop learning and use your determination to be great innovators. These are values that should always guide your nursing career. Congratulations to each one of you and best of luck in your nursing career. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our class of 2024 president, Nicholas Zimmerman. Nick is a big supporter of the class of 2024 and the nursing profession. There's no doubt he has, was chosen to be president because of his way of uplifting everyone around him. He will be a remarkable nurse. Please help me welcome Nicholas Zimmerman. Good morning, everybody. As Beth said, my name is Nicholas, and two years ago, this class saw fit to elect me president. I'm not sure what they saw in me at that point, but since then I have sought to advocate for the class and help each of them when I was able. I know we have had our good times and our tough times. We have seen new lives brought into this world through the last two years, and some of us have suffered great losses. What I can say is that we have made it through this adventure called nursing school together. Look around, because each, member, each of you members of the audience played a part in this accomplishment. I lost my fa father suddenly in March of 2023, and I know that he would have been so proud of me for standing up here today as a graduate and class president. I want you, the members of the audience, to remember, even though your student may have been irritable or difficult to deal with through the stress of this adventure, you help them make it through. Today is a celebration, and I want each of you to support, your, to support your students and congratulate them on their accomplishments when we leave here today. To my fellow students, I know it has been hard, and the most stressful part is just ahead of us. I want to offer a bit of advice that echoes in my head in the hard times. To quote my, one of my favorite musicians, Jimmy Buffett, uh, Sometimes we just have to breathe in, breathe out, and move on. Sometimes no matter what you do, the outcome is out of your hands. Remember this on the days when you become frustrated and feel like everything is piling up against you. I know that each of us will have our difficult days, but remember that those around you will support you. Many of these supporting players have been in the same spot in which you'll find yourselves and made it through to the other side. So listen to any advice that they may offer. In closing to my fellow students, strive to be the best part of someone's worst day, and you will be a great nurse.
It is now my great pleasure to introduce our class of 2024 valedictorian. When you hear her story, she may become your personal hero. Rebecca started our ADN program when she was pregnant and had her daughter in the middle of her studies. This huge life-changing event didn't stop her and it didn't slow her down. She has excelled at both motherhood and academics. She is a credit to our program. Please help me welcome Rebecca Oakley. Good morning. I'd like to start off by saying I'm much more comfortable presenting research to small groups than I am giving speeches to a larger audience. So if my face gets a little red, just go about your business. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who is here today, whether you're a friend, family member, coworker, teacher, supervisor, child, or spouse to someone who is graduating today, thank you. Everyone's support system looks different, but if you're here today, it means you're someone's support system, and you're part of the reason they can stand here today to receive an associate degree in nursing. Thank you to our teachers, clinical instructors, advisors, preceptors, and hospital staff who put up with nursing students mouth breathing over their shoulder while we learned our clinical skills throughout the duration of this program. Completing an accelerated nursing program is not an easy feat. Personally, I was 18 weeks pregnant when I started the program and was incredibly nervous I wouldn't be able to make it through. I couldn't imagine early morning clinicals after a sleep deprived night with a newborn or studying for my first exams a week after giving birth or being able to find a balance between applying myself to school and being a new mom. I thought having my daughter might be the reason that I would have to drop out of this graduating class and try again another year. Today, I realize she is the reason that I made it through this program. I mean, seriously, I read her like a lot of med surge and pharmacology study guides before she learned she could crawl away from me. <laughs> I wanted to be a nurse, yes, but I also wanted to show her that she can do hard things and that there is a balance to be found between family and career. She doesn't have to feel pushed into one specific role. I couldn't have found this balance without my support system, especially my boyfriend, Tyler, and for him, I am grateful. But this isn't just about my motivation, support system, or challenges. It's about us as a class. Every single one of us has had things that challenged us, yet we all persevered. For some, these challenges may have been the loss of a parent, a grandparent, or maybe a loss they didn't feel comfortable sharing with others. New babies, financial stress, work stress, and many other challenges people had thrown at them, they overcame. We had our external support systems, but we also leaned on each other a tremendous amount. I'm grateful to be part of a class who was so willing to help each other. I hope that future classes are as willing to share knowledge and lend a hand to each other as ours was. Thank you to my class for making nursing school fun. As we all embark on our careers in nursing, I want to encourage you all. You can do hard things. You will be a good nurse, and you will make a difference. Regardless of the specialty you go into or how many letters you have beside your name, never forget the reason you started this journey. Remember the people you are caring for are loved by someone, and you can be the reason their sick day stinks a little less. Remember to advocate for your patients. They deserve to have a voice and a choice. Remember to keep an open mind. We may be done with ATI assignments, but the learning never stops in this career. In closing, I will leave you with these words from Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. As you graduate, as you deal with your excitement and your doubts today, I urge you to try and create the world you want to live in. Minister to the world in a way that can change it. Minister radically in a real, active, practical, get your hands dirty way. Just remember that when you're getting your hands dirty, that the number one way to prevent hospital-acquired infection is appropriate hand hygiene. <laughs> Thank you, and congrats. Thank you, Rebecca. You truly are an inspiration. <laughs> so I am Becky Stout, Associate Dean for Nursing Student Education, and it is my sincere pleasure today to welcome our keynote speaker, Anna Tomkavich, our Guy Singer's Chief um, Nurse Executive and Executive Vice President. Janet's entire career has been dedicated to the art and science of nursing. 
She is responsible for Geisinger's Nursing Institute, including strategic planning, nursing practice, professional development, research, and education partnerships. This includes aligning nursing services across the care continuum and testing new nursing care models in both the inpatient and ambulatory space. In addition, Ms. Nemcavage leads care management in Geisinger at Home. Contributing to what we call at the college our uniquely Geisinger approach, Janet focuses on population health initiatives that drives in transformation that improves care and drives down cost. Geisinger's proven health navigator was an industry leader in redesigning primary care and embedding care management services directly alongside primary care providers. More recently, she led the first efforts to address social determinants of health, including food insecurity and transportation, and developed hospital system changes related to post-acute utilization. Her current work extends these models in the delivery of new care team models in the home that supports clinical, social and palliative care services for the most vulnerable po populations. Mrs. Tim Cabbage earned her bachelor degree in science in nursing from Bloomsburg State College and her master in science in nursing from Misericordia University. She was the first nurse at Geisinger to win the Pennsylvania Nightingale Award for clinical excellence in an advanced nursing role in 1994. She is an active member and has served in various leadership roles in the American Nurse Association, the American College of Healthcare Executives, the Alliance of Community Health Plans, the American Hospital Association's Post-Acute Work Team, and the CMS Executive Leadership Council of the Strategic Innovation Engine. Please help me welcome Janet Tomkavich. Yeah, I've worked in nursing a long time. That's why there was a, a lot of things that I've been doing over the last couple of decades. But um, thank you so much for coming this morning. Um, this is just such an honor to be here. But we're really here about this uh, group over here on the stage. Um, so we're going to try and celebrate them a little bit today. Um, this is really our first, uh, you heard Dr. Byerly, our first graduating class of our new associate degree in nursing. So no one else will be able to say that, just you guys today. So kudos to this team. Class of 24, you're about to embark on what I would say is the most challenging, unpredictable, exhilarating, and fulfilling career in the world. Skeptics in the audience, bear with me. Um, this is accurate. Challenging because healthcare is so dynamic and it changes almost daily. Tomorrow's technology, tomorrow's medical advances could make everything that you have learned up till this point obsolete. So you will never stop learning and that's a great thing. It will be unpredictable and exhilarating because you will share the most intimate moments with people and their, their lives. You'll walk beside patients and their families during their deepest grief, their amazing recoveries, and their greatest joy. And that is what makes nursing and our work so fulfilling. You will change people's lives, and I would suggest that your life will change as well. As you step into this world of healthcare as a new graduate nurse, one of the most rewarding careers, consider really two themes that I'd like to kind of just highlight today. Change and trust. As healthcare demands grow, nurses are at the forefront. We've heard a little bit about that this morning. So you must be inquisitive, innovative, and really inspired to meet all of your patients' needs and our community's needs, because you don't only take care of patients, you take care of our community. As most individuals know, and as Dr. Byerly mentioned earlier, nursing is facing really a critical, critical staffing um, crisis. And one change that organizations like Geisinger, for example, are advancing has been this new team-based uh, model of care, bringing together RNs 
LPNs, and something we've developed, patient care technicians, bringing this whole team together, replacing what we have traditionally called the, a primary RN model to a team-based model, and probably what you've learned about over the last two years. So see, already, you will need to embrace change. Another change is the rapid adoption of technology in our workplace. And I'm happy to say that finally in nursing, we are really getting um, to be able to take advantage of some of the new technology out there. Over 500 of our hospital beds at Geisinger now have new technology supporting something called virtual nursing. Even here at Lewistown, at our Lewistown campus, we have technology called virtual nursing. Bots, what is short for robots, yes, we have robots, are replacing things like manual audits that maybe your supervisor on the unit would normally sit there and go through medical records. Those bots are now ensuring that we have um, appropriate suicide requirements or daily weights um, and uh, other um, important things to ensure uh, quality practice. So technology is really taking hold. These changes are critical to the future of nursing and healthcare. And these changes require flexibility, engagement, constant engagement, emotional maturity, and really a willingness to be iterative. Not every change will work. You've learned that over the last two years. But if we all work together to test these new solutions, we will be successful. Now, not everyone thrives in a rapidly changing environment, but I'm proud to say that this school has really prepared you to be ready to function in that type of environment. And our nursing teams really embrace these qualities and will help you step into your new role as a graduate nurse. So this takes me to the second theme, which is really trust. When I considered nursing many years ago, it seemed like a great opportunity, a great career for me as a woman. But I have to tell you, it became so much more than a career. Nursing, for most of us, is really our calling. So much more than a job or a career, it is about really who we are and what we want to do for others. And I suspect that that's what you will feel in a very short time. Working with people, both our colleagues and patients, calls for us to really develop incredible le level of emotional intelligence, fortitude, kind of stick to itness, if you will. But when you care, when you put others before your own needs, when you're invested and can navigate change, people trust you, trust. This is not just my opinion. For the last 22 years, nurses ranked at the top of Gallup's um, ethics poll and were dubbed nursing's the most trusted profession. So I would suggest that trust is perhaps the greatest gift of our profession. And it's one that I know you will earn every day. So congratulations, class of 2024. You did it. Go lead the next change. Be the next innovator. We need you. Go start this great adventure we call nursing. Thank you. Thank you, Janet, for those inspiring words. All right, Dr. Byerly, I have the distinct privilege and honor of presenting the recipients of the degree, Associate Degree in Nursing. These individuals have satisfied the requirements established by the faculty and have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Directors. As president of Geisinger College of Health Sciences, Upon recommendation of the faculty and on behalf of the Board of Directors, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree, Associate Degree in Nursing.
granting all rights and privileges and honors appertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. We now turn to the degrees earned in course. The candidates will be presented by Becky Stout. She will first call the graduates who are present here with us today, and then she will call the names who could not join us in person. Okay. Will the associate degree in nursing graduates please come forward to receive your diploma and pin as I read your names. Chloe Patrice Buchanan, cum laude. <laughs> Marina Carellis, cum laude. Danae Lachelle Chandler. <laughs> Michelle N. Clayton. Adrian Elizabeth Fortuna. Felicia Marie Gregory. Brandy J. Hugar. <laughs> Stephanie Koenig, summa cum laude. Rachel Ann Kozak, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kylie Shane Kreps. Alexis Marie Coons. <laughs> Courtney Nicole Coons.
Hannah Michelle Leach. Ashley Nicole Leedy. Brittany Larray McCoy. Jaritza Jamalette Moreno. Crystal G. Myers. Rebecca Elizabeth Oakley, summa cum laude. Andrew Barnett Olt. Stephen Durrell Park, cum laude. <laughs> Brittany Lee Peters, cum laude. Dakota Lee Ramsey. <laughs> Michaela Elizabeth Tate Cyberling. Nev Madeline Shamba Cum laude. Yay! Haley Fawn Watson. Alicia Nicole Yoder. <laughs> Nicole 
Nicholas Storm Zimmerman. <laughs> Elise Yasmin Zook. Congratulations to our associate degree in nursing graduates. Hello, class. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm Chrissy Rank, a faculty member here at Geisinger School of Nursing, and I am super proud of this class. As a nurse, we are privileged to witness some of the most profound moments in life. That means we must commit to upholding a high ethical standard. So let us now recite together in unison the pledge to honor that responsibility. The words to the pledge appear on the back of the program. Well, together, I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will devote myself to the welfare of my patients my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and may, wherever they may be in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Thank you for that, Chrissy. And I understand it's a graduation day for her today as well. Congratulations. Congratulations to each of you graduates. Welcome to the healthcare team in this new role. We need you so much and we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Many people have helped you along the way. Make sure as we recess, after we sing our alma mater, that you take three carnations and share them with mentors or loved ones who have inspired you along the way. At the Geisinger College of Health Sciences, we do have an alma mater that commits us to service. The words are found on the back of your program. All are invited to stand and sing, and we'll be accompanied by uh, piped-in music that does include a singer to guide us um, as we share these words together. Reach valleys deep, raising the promise we will keep. Geisinger planted, now we reap. We will grow our voices here. Arise, stand tall in the name of better health. 
instant all for our dear old common wealth. Teachers and colleagues by our sides with our communities as guides for just a purpose proud and kind as we carry her name on arise stand tall in the name of better health arise stand tall for our dear old common Congratulations. Thank you. 